morning guys welcome back to my channel Mix and I have finally arrived in Sri Lanka as I mentioned in my last vlog that this is where we were going so we are staying in a place called Nagambo for a few days and then we are backpacking around Sri Lanka for a month we currently don't have anything planned yet so we're gonna sit down today and just sort out everything that we want to do and finalize things that we want to see but first let's just backtrack a little bit of how we got here I was busy sitting on the bench I was busy vlogging and the lady obviously saw my camera who works here so she came up to me and she said you must go through there that's a beautiful location for YouTube so we're going to explore I think I was expecting maybe like forest and a lot of nature but like it is beautiful it is cute though <laughs> um no maybe not <laughs> I don't really want to break a bone on our first day in Sri Lanka yeah, this is very brave, eh, gal? <laughs> so we're staying at a hostel called the Tuk Tuk Hostel and this is their sister hostel that's literally like right next door. So we are allowed to come and swim and use the pool and everything, but we're not staying here. Hot girl summer, we island gals. <laughs> we have to do that video. Two bitches in the pool. <laughs> so much oh that looks so good oh, thank you so much thank you. thank you so I have ordered the jumbo prawn red curry with some rice and oh that's the so coconut good. salad <laughs> and you've got um, prawns. <laughs> prawns and <laughs> chips and salad <laughs> So Mix and I have just come out for lunch. It's literally our first meal of the day and it's quarter past four. <laughs> um, but we found like this cute little restaurant that is literally on the beachfront and it's right opposite our hostel. And I'm very excited to eat this. Yeah, and the dogs actually are so slim. Like, Jacob at home is definitely five times the size of him. We finished up with lunch and we're now at a spot that literally just specializes in strawberries. They've got at least like 20 different strawberry desserts. And this is what we got. I didn't realize how big mine was. I'm sure it can last four days worth of dessert. So this is my insanely big strawberry sundae. And I hope that my gluten and dairy intolerance just forgets and is nice to me while we're on holiday. <laughs> And then Mix has got a strawberry Swiss roll. that I haven't showed you guys where we're staying yet. Um, so the name of our hostel is the Tuk Tuk Hostel and we are currently the only people here. Uh, I just have to warn you, our bedroom is a bit of a mess because it's us. <laughs> okay, so this is our little hostel with our laundry hanging everywhere. But there are two beds up there. That's my bed. And then Mix is sleeping underneath here. 
and then we have our desk. So it's our last day here in Nagambo. We woke up bright and early at 7 a.m. <laughs> Not that early, but I think that my clock is still on South African time, so back home it was about 4 a.m. Um, so we wanted to come and do something a little bit touristy, and that is come and look at the temple. Um, I need to read you the name because I don't want to get the pronunciation wrong. Anguru Karamula Temple. Um, so we have come to do this this morning and then we are off to another town up north called Sigaria and that we need to get a taxi and then a bus. Um, but yeah, this is the temple and we're going to go have a look inside. One more thing to remember, if you come and visit the temple, just to dress appropriately. So you have to have your shoulders and your legs covered. finished up at the temple and now we're walking towards the main street to go and find a coffee or fresh juice. I've gone for the vegetable roti and cheesy sausage roll and then Mix also has a veg roti and then boiled egg roll <laughs> thing. <laughs> and then we have also ordered two iced coffees. I think that an ant has put in my ear somehow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a little taste test of everything that we got. So I'm gonna do this coffee. So sweet. It's nice. Very sweet. <laughs> Literally just tastes like smoking coffee. But I'm not mad, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, should we do veg tea first? out of 10 loses two points because I know it's gonna make my tummy sore later. <laughs> also I give a good seven. It's a bit spicy. Got a cheesy sausage roll. Egg roll. <laughs> Do you want to try and break that open as well? It's a whole egg. Oh interesting. Show me what Looks like a bit of egg and meat. Okay. It's tuna. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely needs some tomato sauce, mm. but it's, it's good. Dry, but it's <laughs> so all of this came to 910 rupees, which in South African rand is like yeah, 45 rand for all of them. So like 20 rand each for breakfast. Not bad. We have finally made it to a town up north called Sigaria. So we went from Negambo and we took a taxi up to Sigaria. Um, there is a cheaper way how to get up here if you travel by bus. I think it's maybe around 360 rupees. Um, but we decided to take a taxi because there is a petrol crisis here. And apparently none of the buses have petrol. So we could be waiting like two to three hours at a bus station for a bus. Um, and then we would still have to take two more taxis after that um, So we just decided to go with an uber So if you're traveling anywhere around the world uber does work here in Sri Lanka and you can get like a uber taxi or you can get an uber tuk-tuk 
so yeah anyway we have made it to our little lodge and up in Segaria there is the famous rock I'm just not 100% sure what it's called but we did drive past it on the way here um, but it's a very small kind of rural town there's not many restaurants or shops or grocery stores or anything um, but apparently uh, we had the loveliest taxi driver ever we had full chats with him the whole way but he said it's not safe to walk here after 6 p.m because there's wild elephants <laughs> which i just think is so insane but it's really beautiful so let me give you a quick tour of our room that we are staying in so you come into our room it doesn't have any aircon but it does have a fan thankfully and then a random little tree stump um, and then the bathroom, toilet, and then it looks like that's the shower in the middle of the room. And then, yeah, this is outside. So I think I'm just going to end this vlog here and then start a new one for Sigaria. So if you did enjoy, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe because we are staying here for a whole month. And there are tons more off travel videos for you guys to watch. So yeah, bye. <laughs> when she needs to borrow your scarf for a picture but you can't show your shoulders so I've got a skirt around me <laughs> oh look at his little tail